Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm in front of the old state house. Now, the reason I'm here is there's supposedly a museum inside the old state house known as the Museum of Natural and Other Curiosities. It's a very fascinating name, so I think we're gonna go try and experience this together. Follow me. And look at this. Good way to get started. We have a Lego recreation of this very building. All right, got some uh, interpretive stuff here. This is a, a dog. It says, pet me. Oh, he barks. Hey, what's going on in this bowl? Is he eating lambs? Wow. an old-timey typewriter and some old-timey uh, cigarette butts. I do believe that making any exhibit rotate definitely increases the interest. I believe this is like an old door-to-door -door salesman who would sell cleaning items. The suitcase with all the wonderful uh, different items used for cleaning. Now here's a pretty impressive little artifact. We've got Mark Twain's actual bicycle. Can you just imagine Mark Twain in his white suit and his cigar riding around on that? Here we have some guns, guns, guns. And we all know you can't spell museum without quilt. Here's an old Connecticut voting machine. Uh, looks uh, fairly easy to use. Let's see. Here. And here's the kids' governor's office. Apparently Connecticut actually has a, a political position of child governor. There's a 2019 Connecticut's kid governor, Ella Briggs. So he is the governor of all children in Connecticut. Here's the old Statue of Justice. They used to be on top of this actual building. And here's where the Connecticut House of Representatives used to meet. Huh. And this is the old Senate chamber. You can see that massive uh, painting of George Washington. But this is what we were looking for. So apparently this Museum of Curiosities was originally in the attic of the building and uh, they th this current iteration is a recreation of that uh, museum that used to be in the attic. All right, check this out. And I guess my first question is why is the alligator hanging upside down? Here we have a little two-headed calf. Get a good look at him. Oddly enough, this isn't the only two-headed calf I've seen in a state capitol. The uh, Georgia state capitol in Atlanta also has a two-headed calf. Got this beautiful collection of birds. Let's see a toucan right there. And that is a crazy looking bird. At first I thought this was a 
uh, taxidermied zebra rear, but uh, I think it's <laughs> I think it's a mask. Here's a narwhal tusk, the unicorn of the sea they call them. And there is a mummy's hand. Uh, what you need if you want to guarantee that your state house uh, be cursed. We got these two little piggies in a jar. Actually, that's one piggy with two heads. Do love this wall of taxidermied heads. These two look very vicious right here. I think that's the Gamork from uh, Never Ending Story. It's a big old gator head right there. Along with some smaller gator heads. A little turtle. Or gator heads. And some vicious flesh-eating piranhas. Okay, that's just straight up adorable. This is an interesting uh, cobra mount. See how he's like all entangled with himself. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that there's a missing piece to this taxidermy mount. Um, I bet there's supposed to be a mongoose in here. It's a very classic uh, tableau to have a cobra fighting a mongoose. Lots of creepy crawlies and boxes. See some important old men up there, right over the uh, mountain lion. It's a pretty little green lobster, along with this massive lobster claw. Look how big that is. That could take your head off. Got a hammerhead shark there, along with some other various fish. There's a puffer fish up here, and then uh, some dried out manta rays. This giant bell jar full of butterflies. And a big old buffalo. Look how the shutters here are just covered in uh, turtle shells. Let's see some sea turtles swimming around in front of that moose. I think this is some sort of giant dissected salamander. Down here, we got a little bird in a box and a little white weasel. So, thank you for joining me here at the old state house here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Um, always good to see some love going to the curiosities uh, in, in the State Museum. Uh, apparently the museum did uh, start in the, um, the attic of this building. It got so popular it moved across the street, but I guess it went out of business across the street. So they recreated it in modern times in, uh, in the State Capitol Museum. But very cool to see. Uh, if you like to see other places I've been to, please check the interactive map in the description will show you all the places I've been and you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, uh, consider donating to Patreon, a $3 or more donation. We'll give you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.